Welcome back, everyone. Glad you could come along on another quick adventure with us. We're headed out of Las Vegas toward Death Valley now. We just love exploring this area this time of year when things have cooled off. It's perfect outside right now, so let's go see what we can find. If you're coming this way also, my chocolate addiction highly recommends a stop off at the Death Valley Nut and Candy Company. Here you can pick up some road munchies, but more importantly, meet the locals that have called this inhospitable area home for well over a century. So as we headed out of Beatty towards Death Valley, we noticed this huge mound next to the highway. At first we thought it was just a hillside, but past there you see the face of a mountain all cut up and terraced. Being in a historic gold district just outside Death Valley, we had to go see what was left of this operation. Let's check it out. Alright everyone, so here we are outside the mine at what was the guard shack. Now it is posted no trespassing here, as the yard and former mill site isn't on BLM land. So we'll fly in there in a second, but I was able to dig up some photos from another explorer who photographed the site a while back while the structures were all still here. Let's take a look at the inside of the shack. You can see from the older phone and computer equipment, this site looks straight out of the 90s. It doesn't seem that long ago I remember using those big heavy computer monitors. Nothing really in there now. This is one of the only structures left on site. Out back behind the shack, you can see our destination, the east face of that mountain. You ready to fly the desert skies? Let's go. Just past the guard shack, you can see the foundation of a large warehouse that is gone now. Here you'll see some photos on screen of the warehouse while it was still standing. You can see they had just about everything on site, from a bathroom and washroom to meeting rooms and offices. You'll also see a cinder block building still standing and the water tower on the hill that was used for the leaching operations. I did a bit of research later and found out this site was last work back in the 90s, before it was closed due to falling gold prices and increased extraction costs. Before that, gold mining in this area known as the Bullfrog District, dates all the way back to 1904. Now, as we get close to the pit, you are truly going to get an idea of the scale of this operation. Not only did they tear us all the way up the mountain face, they dug deep enough down to hit the water table also. This was a large cyanide heap leach operation which extracted gold from ore by soaking it in a cyanide solution. Secondary minerals that were extracted from this site along with the gold also included silver, copper, and lead. Previously, the site was worked by Barrick Gold from approximately 1989 to 1999 until the cost of gold dropped to around $400 an ounce and deeper extractions were becoming too costly. At the time of publishing this video, however, Gold has risen to around $1,750 an ounce. This rise in price, coupled with lower cost and more efficient mining methods, are the trigger that will attract gold miners back to the area just like they have for the last 100 years. Now as you can see, there isn't much left on the site. Where that long foundation was, there was another warehouse and in fact if we pull up a historic satellite shot, you can see there was a whole mill here and supporting infrastructure. Here's the guard shack and the warehouse pad we passed and the whole cyanidation mill site. And look at the size of this waste rock pile. It's hard to believe this was all pulled out of the earth there and stacked up. After Barrick worked the site, pulling over 2.3 million ounces of gold from it, they held on to the claim some 20 years until it was very recently brokered as part of a deal to rework the Bullfrog Mining District here outside Death Valley. It seems like the gold rush is far from over here and may never be, as miners will soon once again descend onto small desert outposts like Beatty and breathe new life into them. One thing that remains constant, however, is the old timers that have roamed these hills and outlasted all the booms and busts. Though they occasionally enjoy modern conveniences also, like munchies from the current tourists. If you aren't careful, one might try and hitch a ride home with you. 
we're going to hop on the highway and keep on exploring. So thank you for coming along today, everyone. Stay tuned. We have much more adventures in this area coming soon. See you next time.